Welcome back to Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door Randomized Part 23. For real this time. Uh, this is the real one, so. Coolio, let's, uh, let's get right into it. I, uh, I figured, you know, I had this crazy revelation. Where I was like, maybe. Just maybe. I, like, I don't know. <laughs> just played the same game for more than two videos at a time. Maybe, maybe do, like, a couple, like I used to. In the olden days. By the olden days, I mean, like, a couple months ago. Thought it'd be a fun little bit. I guess we could try out Bobbery for a little bit too. Since we already have everyone uh, cataloged here. Boom, 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 boom. Now Bobbery has a great upgraded ability, so I'm kind of bummed that I don't get to use it yet. Bomb Squad's not great. Um, it can be. So the way I, I guess I'll show it. It's not a very good ability, but I'll show how it works. So you basically aim. I'm trying to figure out where you're tossing these uh, these bombs. Went way wide on that one. And then uh, anyone who like is kind of in the blast range when they go off, uh, just you know, gets damaged. You can layer up to two of them because I think they last for two turns, and they will explode any other bombs on the on the field. So it's you know, it's it's fine. It's technically an AOE. I think it's a little too involved for my for my tastes, but you know, it works. It's functional. So. What else can we really ask for? Uh, boop. Okay. But yeah, we'll see. I, ooh, okay. Well, that's <laughs> unfortunate. So we unfroze first. Oh, maybe that's not unfortunate. That actually worked out pretty well. So we can force him to go off early too with uh, with his normal attack. So his his attack, believe it or not, just called bomb. Uh, so you hold A and then release when uh when you hit there. And then he has a little stylish move at the end there. Uh, so you jump, I guess. I want to just let you see the bombs go off. Oh, never mind. Well, shit. <laughs> but yeah, I don't really use Bomb Squad. I don't really like the idea that it like delays the attack. You can kind of stack them up and get a good amount of damage with them, but I just it's it's too involved. He eventually gets an ability where he just like nukes the field, and I think that's way better. But that makes sense for being like his last ability. I forget what his third one is. He does have a third ability, and I, I truly, like, I don't remember what it does. <laughs> but it's there. It exists. I'm not really thrilled with his uh, his damage so far. It's kind of the same problem as Mario with the hammer. Like, when you, when you raise Mario's strength by one, his jump does more damage than his hammer does, is kind of where it happens, because it only raises the damage for the hammer by one, but it's plus one per jump, and since you do two jumps, you do more damage. You get the idea, it's math. So the same thing kind of happens with Bobbery, where even if the partners are powered up, his strength doesn't really jack up that much, so. He definitely has some uses, though. I, I like using Bobbery. Um, he's good against specific types of, types of enemies, he's good against clearing some hazards. There are ways to use him, for sure, so. Well, uh, hold on to that, I guess. Uh, but I will, admittedly, while we're here, I gotta buy another trade-off. I gotta buy more Zest Dynamite, because it worked really well. I was, like, surpri really surprised by how well that worked. I don't know how to, uh, how to make Zest Dynamite normally. I can try the, uh, the Egg Bomb, too. Too many items! Alright, I guess we'll just store some stuff. What do I not need right now? <laughs> we gotta keep the pasta. I don't need the spite pouch. Uh, I don't need the ruin powder. I have a lot of items, and I just like continuously don't use them. I just keep forgetting I have them. Like I have a lot of healing items, and I don't think I've like used any of them. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I guess I can go way more wild with my FP since I have so much FP restra restoration items that. You know, I should really just start considering that. Ah, it is Bobbery! Welcome back to you! Do you know how worried we are? My stomach has been most upset. I must worry about everyone here, but who worries for Flavio? No one! Do you know how hard that is for me to sit here in safety and wait and worry so much? I do not know what is out there waiting to lurch, lunch, lurch in and snack upon me. I saw lurch and snack and I was like, surely he meant to say lunch. And then I went back and it said lurch. We don't even know how to get home for the sake of the blue brainy sea. But no, no more yelling. Now is the time to pull together and work as a team. Flavio, old boy, I must say you talk rather too much. That's, that's just too close to Bowser and uh, Crump. Hold on. Such insolence. Grrr. I growl at you like an angry jungle beast. I oughta. 
So in any case, Mario, I'm about to push the bar with the burglar. There is a rather odd rock in the far east with jungle with skull carved into it. Colored an old sea bomb's intuition with Deska Rock. Seem smells suspicious. <laughs> Oi, Bobbery, you want to know what's really smells suspicious? Flabio's armpit. Oi, smells like low tide. <laughs> but seriously, you may be on to something with that skull rock. I say this, that's where the treasure is. Uh, well, anyone could figure that out, you mutinous joker. I mean, how obvious. I was already saying in my head that the treasure is certainly behind that rock. And as such, I will continue the noble duty of protecting this camp from invasion. Cap Capitan Mario, carry on. I'm sorry to make you so many requests, but you know. Flavio, you old cash grubber. If you want treasure, why don't you go and get it yourself? <laughs> uh, well, yes, Admiral, uh, you see, I, uh... Well, yes, you have a point. Uh, let, uh, that's that's the time. <laughs> Come on, Nick. Uh, let us decide this fair and square, shall we? Listen to me, everybody. Who would, I keep doing Italian now. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> who thinks I should go to investigate this skull rock? Oh, heck yes. Take him, please. Have fun out there, jerk. Off with you. There you have it, Flavio. Fair and square, what? Uh, um, no, not fair. Flavio hits you off. <laughs> Flavio will join you for a short time. I like how they clarify it's for a short time. They're like, we know Flavio can get a little annoying, so don't worry. He's not here forever. We do a real save, since uh, save state is not real. But uh, yeah, let's move on. Hey, you know what we finally have time for? We finally have, now that we're make, going across this jungle for the third or fourth fucking time, finally talk about Final Fantasy VII Remake and the Platinum. It's annoying platinum. I covered that already. I am making progress on it. Uh, I only have two trophies left. I have to beat the super boss, who's not actually the super boss, which is kind of funny. Uh, the the reason being is that uh, the super boss in this game is called Pride and Joy, but to get to it, you, it's like it's part of like an arena thing. So you have to fight four battles first. Uh, so you fight four battles, and then it's the fifth battle. And you have to do all of them in a row without dying, which is, you know, it sucks. <laughs> it's not great. But, uh, so I, you have to do that. And, um, I believe that the hardest boss is actually the one right before it. Because you have to fight Bahamut. And, uh, Bahamut is much stronger than the actual, uh, uh, super boss, which is kind of funny. The thing that sucks is that you do have to do all of it first, though, so... You know. All right, let's see if I can get the bombs to go off this time. I believe you can set them off early. I just don't. Maybe, maybe it only works if you use bomb squad twice. Maybe that's how it uh, kind of tracks it. Truthfully, I'm unsure. Should go off next turn though. I think they only do two damage each, maybe three damage each, something like that. So they have potential for a lot of damage, but just I feel like it just never works for me. I can't believe we still have this curse. <laughs> I wonder if when I bought it a second time. It just like added this, uh, the time to it instead of just like resetting. Because I feel like we've had this for a long time. Oh wow, oh that's right, it, it... Oh yeah, they do do three each, look at that. Okay, maybe it's not as bad as I thought, maybe I get even more credit. Oh, we leveled up, that's convenient. Woohoo! Um, but uh, yeah, so... It's, it's not the real boss, which is funny. Uh, but I, uh... I've only got to beat that, so I have to beat Shiva, followed by Fat Chocobo, followed by Leviathan, followed by Bahamut, who then suffer summons Ifrit halfway through the battle. And then, uh, Pride and Joy. And then I gotta beat the game on hard mode for two... I only have two more chapters left. And then I'll be, uh... I'll be the winner. It'll be great. And I'll be excited. And I can be fucking done with it, because I'm so sick of this game. <laughs> I'm so sick of it. I mean, I get it, right? Like, it's, you know, it's it's Final Fantasy, there's more of it, yeah, I just don't, I don't want to play anymore. It's just, I just want to be done with it. Uh, like, I, I feel like, this is the problem with uh, Platinum in games sometimes, uh, is that, well, you know, let's put Zap Tap on. Uh, the problem with, uh, with Platinum in games sometimes is that not every developer or publisher, whoever makes these decisions, knows how to make a good platinum trophy. So sometimes you just get this like 
really long slog that doesn't really en enhance the gameplay or anything, and it's not really a challenge. I will say this, 7 Remake is kind of a challenge, but not for the reason that it should be. So, hard mode, like I explained, I think in the last video, or one of the other, it doesn't matter. Uh, the whole gimmick is that you play through the game again, and this time all the bosses and stuff are harder, you're gonna be hit max level pretty quickly, like you'll probably finish the game at level, I fucked that up. You'll probably finish the game at level, I don't know, 42, 44, or something like that, and the max level is 50. So you'll hit 50 pretty quickly in, in hard mode, which, you know, not great for game balance. Uh, but you'll hit it pretty quickly, and then the only thing to really do is just change your materia setup. And you can equip, like, I don't know, I want to say maybe like 9 to 14, maybe? No, that doesn't sound right. I think it's like 4 at the moment. Sorry, my brain. And then you can equip, like, I don't know, let's say like 10 materia. 10, 12, I don't know. Who the fuck knows what the actual number is? It's not me. But uh, you can equip a certain amount of materia. The problem is that every enemy in hard mode has, like, super specific weaknesses you need to take advantage of. So you're just constantly changing around your materia between four characters, and it's just such a pain in the ass. They don't even have the ability to like save a materia like uh, configuration or anything like that, so you just have to do it from start every single time. So it's just it's just annoying. Like if if the challenge didn't like had more generic materia that just like powered you up, like there's some good ones like HP up, luck up, magic power up, but there's not enough of it. <laughs> so like I don't know. It just it I find it really annoying that uh it's just it's just so involved and it's already like a 30 hour game it just makes it take even longer it's like it's just it's overstated it's welcome i'll be glad to be done with it and then i'm gonna force myself through the dlc because i don't want to play this game anymore <laughs> but i really just need to get it out of the way ah uh, no what is all this a dead end don't think flavio with this dead endedness but hmm is this i think this is the skull rock bobbery blabbered about bobbery blabbered uh well it positively reeks of ancient secrets yes let's plunge into this puzzle I believe that it's one, two, three, and then I think it's one, two, three, four. No, I don't know. Skull Capitan cast these gaze. Red jewel shines and plays. Boom, massa boom, festival. The Stash Brothers, best of friends. Three times red stash lands on his end. Blue Stash's belly four times is whacked. Let's go hear those fireworks go boom. <laughs> this doesn't rhyme. <laughs> At the boom, massa boom, festival. I am just singing to, to while away the time. It is not like Flavio is scared or anything. Uh, but do you know something? I've never been able to know the song's meaning. Oh, well, that's awfully convenient of you. Mario, old boy, I've got to gut that that Flavio's gem might fit in, fit in that eye hole. Oh, that's right, you have to do that first, I think. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, give me your gem. What is it you ask of me? You want Flavio to lend you something? Is that is this correct? No one could possibly have that you would need with such anxiousness. Chocola, cola, coins, skull gem, skull gem. What? You want me to lend you the skull gem? You really, really need it. This is the heirloom of the house of Flavio, you know. But I suppose it is all right, because I am Flavio, he of such ludicrous wealth. I'm just lending it, though. Do not dare run off with it. Do not make me dock pay. Pride of Flavio's family. Can it be set in Skull Rock? I mean, yes. I like that it's an eye patch. Oh, we didn't put it in the eye patch one. All right, I believe it's one, two, three, one, two, three, four. This feels like a puzzle that would be in like Mario and Luigi, Superstar Saga, like kind of games. <laughs> oh boy, what do we put in that hole? Do you think? If only we had something that look. Oh shit, sorry. Sorry, depth perception. If only we had something that looks like a bomb. Okay, can you? You know. There we go. Hey, we're in there. Oh, such excitement! The the cave entrance, hmm? Huh? What? Huh? My skull gem! M -m Mario, what were you thinking? The skull gem was part of the house of Lavio! Woo! Oh, what a happy day. I have my skull gem back. My jolliness has no end. You know, I'll say it. It is pretty neat, and because Flavio is a confusing character. You kind of hate him, but you kinda, he's fine, I think. But, uh... 
I do appreciate that, like, despite how much, like, wealth he has, he's like, no, 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 but this gem is really special to me. <laughs> like, I know that I have all more money than God, but I really need this gem. I'm like, alright, you know, at least he's got some principles, I guess. Now that I'm sure you're all disappointed, but Flavio must be heading back now. I cannot let those back at camp worry about me further. You two understand, yes? So, let me know when you find that glittery treasure, alright? Bye, Flavio. Month Star, Day Circle Music. Scoffing at danger, my brave explorers enter the cave. Will they actually find the Pirate King's treasure? I tremble in anticipation. Not the only thing you're trembling with, am I right, am I right Flavio? <laughs> he has like that I high five myself. I think that was a cool moment. Do I look really cool there? Alright. Is this part of the same is this part of this area? Like is this an actual trans transition? Yes, okay. <laughs> Sounds like uh, the sound effects when I get cursed. So n we can like kind of check Ms. Mouse in like a normal way here. So there is treasure in here. Interesting. Where would you hide treasure? Oh my god, dude! Finally, dude. <laughs> we can finally complete that request. Let's go. Okay, so nothing in here. So Ms. Mouse is really good if you like need to kind of sweep some areas. That surprises me. I didn't think there would be anything here. Oh, I see it. Can I guess what that is? I actually can't tell what that is. Oh, a boo sheet. Okay. That's fine, I guess. Alright, so you cleared out these two areas. Good. Ms. Mouse has a purpose. Let's go. Oh, you know what? Actually, I guess I should switch back to Bella because we're going to fight new enemies in here. Boom, 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 Thank God someone put those springs there. <laughs> what if I need... What if I need to get out or something? God. <laughs> I whiffed that so hard. That was brutal. I feel really bad about that. Oh yeah, I guess we've already identified these. I think they were in the cave as well. Lava bubble, flame spirits, yep. They're just slightly stronger than the ones we've already fought. That's an 8 damage. Did my, uh, did my attack go up, or did the enemies before have uh, defense? It's so weird to have these hammers already. <laughs> I don't think I've ever... I mean, obviously I've never had them this early, because you literally can't get them until uh, you finish Chapter 6. So that's funny. It's very weird. Alright, this one I do know about. This is an easy one to, to miss. I think I only learned about this recently, or like, recent playthroughs, but... You can kind of see the Shine Sprite box there. And it's a star piece. I don't remember if there's anything else here. I think there is. Believe it or not, this uh, this tr this cave, potentially filled with pirate treasure, has some treasures hiding around. I know that sounds crazy, but I need you to trust me here. Uh, well, I can't use Gimbella here, so I guess we just use Coops. Get that AOE. And. Any AOE attacks? I've got Quake Hammer, but it doesn't work on these guys. Um, tornado Jump might. Oh, I know what I did wrong. Fuck, I've used Tornado Jump forever. Could have stolen that with Ms. Mouse, but it's just a normal ass fucking. Uh, what do you call it? Just a normal. Uh, my brain's not working. Mushroom, so there's no reason to. All right, let's try this again. Just because I want to, I want to learn. No, that's not bad. Okay, it does a little bit of damage. It's not great for like, uh, like sweeping the enemy, but it's good for doing like that last bit of damage. All right, I think we can start to see. Uh, I think at pink bombs will spawn in this area, and I think they also start joining the audience here. I don't know if this was normally a star piece. I feel like it wasn't. I feel like that was probably a badge. But I could not tell you which one. So, there's a couple ways to get through here. You can use Vivian, too. The same way we did in the spike puzzle room. But I think you can also just do this. Oh, maybe not. Maybe you do have to use Vivian. Vivian. 
It's been a while. I don't remember all the puzzles. <laughs> Oh, it goes back up real fast. Or go back down, I should say. Okay. I want to... I want to do in party? No, shit. That's the wrong menu. I don't remember my shortcuts well. Man, I love the... The Bullet Bill uh, textures here. They look great. <clears throat> are, are these bullet bills? Are they called something else? Nope. That's a bullet bill. Attacks after being shot from a bill blaster. Max HP is 2, attack is 4, defense is 1. Take care of it quickly or it'll totally wail into you, mosh pit style. Use those action commands to take it out. Why don't they spe specify action commands? I guess the hammer probably works in these guys better because they have one defense, but... It's all good. Yeah, they are not worth anything to me. I wonder if I can equip first attack, or first strike, and beat them that way. No, we'll just leave it for now. Shit. I think I fought the bullet bill. Uh. Fine. I guess. Okay. Hey. I think I'm going to get into a fight right after this, too. Nope. There we go. The Bill Blaster. Oh, there's two. Oh, their defense is much higher. Definitely gonna have to use some uh, some trickery here. That's a Bill Blaster. It's the cannon that shoots bullet bills. Max HP is five, defense is two. It doesn't attack directly, but shoot bullet bills at you. I know that bullet bills are annoying, but take out the Bill Blaster, Bill Blaster first. Trust me. All right, how many of those things will shoot at us? You're so annoying. Oh yeah, good Bella. Love when uh, Goombella adds a little bit of, uh, I guess, flair. We'll call it to, to the description. Yeah, so I can one-shot that other one. Woo! This is a cool, uh, cool enemy type. I like this. I think they reuse it in the final uh, dungeon as well. Like, not, not this enemy specifically, but they have, like, an upgraded variant of it. But I like it as a... as an enemy. I like when there's just, like, you know, Mario representation in a Mario game. Call me a bit crazy for that, but that is just how I feel. Alright, there's a couple things we have to do here. I don't remember super well. Because, uh, you come back and forth in this area a couple times. Because we, we have to get, uh, a new ability. Oh, there's the pink bomb. I need a handle to move the winch. Ah, wouldn't be a, a fucking old school game if we didn't need a fucking winch or a uh, a crank for some reason. Resident Evil called. It wants its gimmick back. It is crazy that Resident Evil called me. I, I, I probably should have taken the call, but instead I just joked about it. Oh yeah, the audience is all pink bomb bombs. The only problem I have with this is that when they're in the audience, they take up multiple seats, so they don't, uh, you can't fill it as much. They also have a thing where they can explode in the audience sometimes. That's a bulky bomb bomb. And, uh, it thinks, I think it's like other bomb bombs, but it's huge. Max HP is six, attack is two, defense is one. It's weird. It never attacks, but once its fuse is lit, it'll blow up on its own eventually. I don't mind it taking itself out of the battle, but that explosion hurts us too. Oh, when its power is up, that attack power, or when it powers up, that attack power is eight, so watch out. Fire and explosions light its fuse, so I guess setting it off early is one strategy. You can run too, but if you're gonna fight, beat it before it goes off. Alright. I'll do just that. Yeah, so they'll light their own fuse. You can blow them up with, uh, with Bomber. I think if you do that, it can damage other enemies with them, so if they don't, if they spawn with, like, other kind of enemies, you can explode them prematurely to, like, damage those enemies. I think? My memory is hazy on the uh, pink bomb bombs. I'll, I'll be real with you. Uh, I'll, I'll just admit it. Boom, 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 boom. Oh my god, not again. I just... Oh my god. Why can't I hit these things? Why can't I hit them? What the fuck, dude? 
Also, they have more HP now. I imagine that. I can't wait till Goombella gets uh, Rally Wink. Rally Wink is pretty helpful. Because you, uh, basically, she gets to give her attack to someone else. Let's see what Bobbery does here. I did five. Did a little bit extra, I think. Nailed it. Not even gonna celebrate. They just got a super guard. It's fine. It's normal. I'm, I'm a pro gamer. I can get super guards whenever I want. I just, you know, I choose not to get them most of the time. That's all. Just, just get off my back. It's fine. Uh, what else do I have to? Uh, not a lot, truth be told. I want to play another game. Oh, I started Persona, uh, Persona Strikers. Uh, I started that because I was looking for a, because, uh, I was looking for a good, like, kind of chill out game, because Final Fantasy VII Remake was making me upset. So, <laughs> so I was just looking for something like that. And, uh, it's fit in the bill so far. Uh, it's not quite as, like, Dynasty Warriors-esque as I was expecting. It feels more like an action RPG, which is good. I mean, you know, innovate, right? I think they did a good job of mixing, like, the Persona stuff with, like, a new kind of gameplay style. I don't know, it just... And I should have expected this, it's just so text-heavy. <laughs> it's just, like, every Persona game is gonna be text-heavy. That's a pair of Buzzy, a Buzzy Beetle with wings. Max HP is 5, attack is 3, and defense is 4. I guess those stats are just like a buzzy. Fire and explosions seem to have no effects, so don't bother. Uh, okay, if you flip it over, its defense goes down to zero, so jump on it first. Shit. Okay. I love them just, like, laying on the ground there. Like, this is my life now. Fuck. Damn it. Oh, good, thanks. It has 1 HP. I didn't need this. This did not come in clutch. <laughs> Great. I'm gonna stomp right through it. Sure am. <sighs> I never triggers when I want it to. Which is kind of the nature of it, right? Uh, how do I get... Oh, can... Is it as easy as this? Oh, it is. Look at that. I thought it was, you had to like stand in a certain way with coops, but no, I guess not. Um, oh, duh. <laughs> probably he's the same guy I just used. Yeah, probably that new party member you just got. Might be pretty useful to use him. Just, just throwing it out there. Turn back. work on me. I don't value... Oh, hold on. <laughs> Shit, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to throw it to him uh, ahead of time. Alright, let's uh, let's rip this bandit off. What does it do? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> you know, that is certainly a strategy. <laughs> it's certainly quicker. Nice. Oh, all right. Keep that in mind, I guess. Ooh, a skull. Water coming from its nose. Gross. Oh, fuck me. Uh, one day I'll learn how to walk. Not today, but one day. Key up there. Get that up there. I think the solution for this one is... Or one of the solutions they want you to use. No, oh, it did work. Look at that. Oh, yeah, that's not what they want me to do. <laughs> that's, that's not what they want me to do at all. Coops, it's time for your one puzzle per dungeon. Uh, I think you have to time it so you're, like, right next to it. Because if you do it too early, it just bounces off the wall. And you can't have him hold it. Alright, Coops. Release. I wonder if that one leads anywhere. Like if you uh, if you stand up on the box there. I wonder if that does anything. I think there might be. I'm gonna try it again. I don't know that there's anything up there, but that I mean, if I were a level designer, that's where I would hide something. Huh. Woo. Can I make that jump? I believe in myself. Okay, here we go. 
Aha! Secrets revealed. Here we go. Great. <laughs> it wasn't worth it. Okay, that's a little bit more worth it. I wish I had the balls to make this my thumbnail, but I know it wouldn't do very well. Maybe if I like zoomed into Mario in the in the barrel, but I'd lose a bunch of pixels if I did that. Okay, I was gonna say, wait, did I get anything? Yeah, the key, genius. Just took me a second to be like, wait, I'm forgetting something. Oh, this was this is always funny to me. So if you use Vivian here, <laughs> her shadow will just like go to like whatever the bottom is. So if you ever use her on like a cliff or like above water, it's just always funny to me. Like watch her, like she doesn't fall in the water because she can't. I always thought that was a funny little, uh, not Easter egg, I guess, but a mechanic, I, I guess. Because I don't feel like it's a mechanic either. Cause it's not like it doesn't affect anything. All right. I don't remember too much of this cave. I think I know the broad strokes, but I don't remember exactly where everything is. Um, yeah, Goomba would help here. You know what? Uh, hey, cut the shit out. A from a Koopa? I trusted you guys. Um. Yeah, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna use, because there's four of them, I'm gonna use trade off. It's so funny to me that this was like cut from the final game, but is still intact enough to like put it in here. We're gonna go with Art Attack. Although, I could just do Earth Tremor here. I only need to get a six. So we'll do Earth Tremor, I guess. Save some uh, star points. If I fuck this up, I'm gonna be upset. It's been a while since I've had to do this. Judge the dude just like on his back. Yes! Still got it. Later, fellas. Ooh. Yeah, that was a good trade off. That was worth it. Who's next? Who dare comes to face me? The Destroyer. Destroyer of Buzzies. Well, this is an easy one. Okay. Am I gonna hit the next one? Yeah, but I don't I couldn't tell if that was during an attack. No, okay. Um This is a little bit more annoying. I mean I know that explosions won't work. Will the shooting star work though, or an ice ice storm? Let's uh let's use the shooting star. I think their defense still comes into play here, so this might not kill. Oh, no. I stand corrected. Neato! Alright, friends. Thank you for your sacrifice. This feels like a... Yeah, I was gonna say, this feels like one of those rooms. <laughs> There's like just enough space. Ooh! Lucky start! Make something good happen when you first enter battle. I feel like this is a rare badge. I think you get this either in the Pit of 100 Trials or... from the... from Dazzle for trading in a badge, I think. I'm gonna take Quake Hammer off right now, because it's not working, because it's all these fucking flying enemies. And... what else? Make something good happen when you first enter battle. I don't know how good this is. I'm gonna take Jump Power off, because I'm not using it. Uh... Could take Last Stand off. Yeah, I'll take it off. I'm fine with that. We'll try Lucky... Er, we'll try Lucky Star for a bit. I could have taken Zap Tap off, but... It's fine. This also feels like if we're gonna hide, <laughs> if we're gonna hide like a hidden wall, this feels like one of those rooms. Hmm. I mean, I can just check, right? Nothing. All right. Thank you for confirmation or er, for the confirmation. Before I waste any more time, this is an easy one. <laughs> Shit. 
Not that easy. Hey, an actual transcribe. Oh, this is the one I was thinking of. You can just roll right under. Just pausing for these ones. I like how they couldn't afford enough spikes to go all the way. Only, only like a couple ones like right near the foot. I think this is, yeah. It's, it's so many of these, I was like, wow, I can't believe I have to come back here with a power up later. I'm like, nope. You don't need to. <laughs> There's usually a way to get it. Double dip P. During battle, your ally used two items in one turn. I believe this isn't a real badge. I think this is another one that was cut from the final version of the game that uh, was added back in for the shuffleizer. Nothing on this one this time, I don't think. <laughs> Fuck. Put me all the way back at the beginning. Yep. Stellar. Sick. I believe. I don't believe anymore. Psych. I never stop believing. Don't stop. Um. Shit. Why am I not doing as much damage now? Okay, I'm. Oh, I got dodge cape. Interesting. Uh. Hey, you know what? Soften them up for me. What was I going to say, though? Uh, games I want to play before the year's over. I think I want to play Alan Wake. I've been kind of thinking about it for a while. Kind of ruminating it a little bit. I think I want to play Alan Wake, because it's supposed to be really short, and people won't shut the fuck up about Alan Wake, too. So maybe Alan Wake, and then maybe play Control. I don't think Control is supposed to be super long, either. But, I, because I kind of feel like I need to take a break with the Final Fantasy VII stuff, or I'm going to burn myself out, which is the worst thing I can do. <laughs> You know what I wonder? Because I think one of the things you can get with Lucky Start is uh, it'll electrify you. I wonder if it'll skip that because I have Zap Tap on or if it'll just double up. Alright. Even more badge points. God damn it. Oh, I can't hit these things. Ooh, HP will briefly recover. For two turns. Where, uh, let's do this again. I can do some damage. I don't think I can kill all of them this turn with my normal attacks, but I think I can do this. It's so crazy that I have Ultra Hammer this early. <laughs> I know I keep saying that, but I just keep being like, I shouldn't have this yet. Ah, it's okay. <laughs> My HP just came right back. And Victor, let's go. Doing pretty well here. I don't. So I, I didn't want to say it in the beginning because I didn't want to like. Yeah, that sucks. Because I didn't want to like, you know, be so like complain about it a lot. I don't usually like this part. I like Keel Hall Key, like I like the outside part. I don't really like the cave. I feel like it takes all the fun parts of Keel Hall Key, which is like the bright colors and just like mutes it. Like, alright, how do you like brown and blue? You get water and cave. That's it. Oh, you know what? This might work on bullet bills, I just realized. Bobbery might be like a, a good one. I don't know if you can completely hop over those bullet bills or dodge them. You might be able to. I think if you, uh... I wonder if you roll. If you can, uh... If you can get, like, under him. But yeah, you gotta be really aggressive with them. Try and miss the first, uh, the first shot and just go straight for the blaster. Oh! I was even thinking as a- oh, okay, I was gonna say. I was even thinking as I was jumping, I was like, wow, I can't believe I, uh, I managed to not hit that. That's crazy. Only two. Do piercing blow. I like the little shine when I did the piercing blow. Sucks. That sucks. Can I? I was gonna say I can't explode them because they're up high. Love it. <laughs> okay, cool. 
Uh, I can't really do anything with Bobbery. Might just defend. Just get hit. It's faster than trying to fight him the normal way. I'm not really speedrunning here, but I'm also, like, respecting my own time. Oh! There's no way! I would have dodged that. Well, luckily you guys have fallen into my trap, where I'm much stronger now. This is my goal all along. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. Ooh, okay. I'm so lucky. I don't want the HP uh, regen. The only luck I don't want. Because it fucks up my, uh, my super strength plan. I should have jumped. Should have jumped ahead of the battle. That was, that's on me. Hey. This isn't gonna kill. There we go. Finally. <laughs> I love when the enemy's closer, he just does like a smaller walk. It's like takes little tippy toes. And how many more bill or bill blasters are here? I think the bill blasters are gone. Once you kill them, they might come back once you like re-enter the area or something like that. But I believe that uh, they don't respawn while you're still in the same area. Fuck! I fucked up. <laughs> I forgot that he could see me. Ah. Okay, well there's four of them this time. That seems concerning. Uh you know, why not? What's the worst that could happen? I think I've killed myself this way before. Oh, one missed. <laughs> That's funny. Listen, at a certain point, I'll take some damage, that's fine. To make this go faster, I relish the opportunity. I don't remember if there's anything here. I don't think so. There might be something in this room. Oh, yeah. It's a power punch. Okay. How do I... I didn't find the key. I don't remember if the key is... You find it after. It's gotta be in this area. York! Ah, oh, sweet, sweet salvation. I thought no one would ever come. I had given up. What's that? Spare you the prologue and just curse you already? Now, how did you know I was going to do that? <laughs> no, seriously, hang on a sec. Can't you just listen to my spiel for a little bit? I've been locked here forever, bored stiff, doing nothing but practice the speech. Huh? I'm already the fourth cursing chest you've met? Are you serious? So, you're saying you know exactly how this is all going to turn out? Man, talk about a raw deal. You're a twisted little guy, you know that? Okay, fine, 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 fine. I get the picture, okay? Sheesh, all I wanted to, uh, all they wanted was to see the face of some other lucky soul when I popped out. Is that too much to ask? No. Anyway, what are you waiting for? Just open it already. You know what the key looks like, right, Mr. Seen It Already? Some ghost here has it. So just beat him, get it, and we'll get this farce over with. Come on now, I'm waiting. <laughs> it's just literally right there. Ah. Oh, dude. I don't know what it is with these guys. I'm, like, struggling. Oh, there goes my power boost. Uh, you know what? You know what? Fuck them. I think this only does seven damage, doesn't it? Oh, no, it does eight. <laughs> I just, I love that it shows Zesty's face. It's so stupid. Ugh. Hey. Yeah, yeah, whoop de doo you got the key. Party time. Let me out already. Alright, here we go. Since you're just itching to get this over with. Ahem. <clears throat> Wee! Bulls! You dopes fell right into my absolutely brilliant trap, and now you will suffer. Oh yeah, I am so evil. Bathe in the foul awful... <coughs> Wait, what was next? 
it works out, because that cough was real. Oh yeah, you fools will be cursed forever for your appalling stupidity. You will rue the day you open the chest of doom. Now you wretched guy. B E C U R S E D Exclamation point exclamation point Wee Now you're cursed, but good Suffer, suffer, suffer Suffer Wait, that's maybe too much. Are you alright? That didn't really hurt, did it? Wee Good Squirm and suffer like socially awkward worms. Okay, you don't have to call me out here. From now on, in certain places, if you press Y, you'll turn into a paper boat. Isn't that just gruesome? Just try it out so I can see the depth of your humiliation. Feel the terror of your fate. When you stand on one of these boat panels, the panel will uh, will feel your curse and glow. Yes, stand here, slime. Feel the pain and press Y. Become a paper boat! Wee! <laughs> oh yes, such suffering. Do you feel the horror? Now you're a piddly little boat. Wee! <laughs> you float on the water. People will laugh at you. You'll be spit upon. But it only works in certain places, so don't worry. It's not too bad. It's just riveting stuff here. When you want to return to normal, approach the panel and press Y. Now, try it, worm. Yes, your pain is like a tasty banquet to me. Now, do you understand your doom? Yeah, I get it. Then off with you, you jaded, cursed boat guy. Oh, and hey, listen. Thanks for letting me do my thing. I feel better. <laughs> so, is that cursed guy actually a good guy or what? That's the last curse. We got all four. Uh, I, once again, just want to take this time to say that is such a good mechanic <laughs> that's such a good way to do abilities give like what are clearly not curses <laughs> like curses kind of by the very nature of them are uncontrollable whereas that is very much all four of them are very much in your hands uh and i love that they just play it up like it's like an evil like ability. it's such a good twist on like getting a power up got like honestly i really like that a lot i think that's one of my favorite narrative devices nar narrative devices this game uses it's good shit all right, well, we've unlocked the final, uh, the final power-up, so now we can go anywhere we need to. I don't think there's anything over here. No. There's definitely some secrets to do with the boat. I just don't remember them all. Okay. So I think we can skip some of this stuff, or maybe we have to go back the normal way first. I forget. There's a couple boat panels we need to use to progress. I know that we have to unlock that like waterfall that wasn't there before. I think that's how we progress further. I pressed X. I pressed it. The game is lying to me. It's just like getting from the boat to the next one is like the hardest button input. I don't know why. Could have gone. Okay. I didn't really know what happened there. I guess a, a pixel must have been inside the uh, the one on the bottom. My mistake. Kind of feel like they should be able to shoot right through you. I am a hollow tube. I'm doing this right? Did I miss one? I don't think so. I know I have to be in this area later, but maybe maybe it's not yet. I'm trying to remember where the boat panels are. I know that area connects to each other uh, through the water, but I'm not sure beyond that. I also don't remember. I don't think you go through the, up here. Yeah, I don't think there's any boat panels up there. There should be one in this area. Or I think you come down from that area. I need Yoshi. I need the crank, right? Where am I going? I don't remember anymore. Uh... Shit. You know what? We're at 50 minutes. I'm going to call that part there. Uh, and I'll figure out the boat stuff next time. Because I'm a bit tired. But uh, I want to get another video out. That'll be good. So, Thanks, guys. And I'll tune, uh, or tune in for part uh, 24 for real this time. And uh, yeah, and I'll, I only do this every couple of times. Hey, don't forget. 
you know, if you're enjoying the series still, if you're one of the few remaining viewers, uh, hit the like button. It gives, it fills me with confidence to record more of these. Uh, when I, cause then when I look at the different videos and I'm like, well, this one series is getting 300 views a video and Paper Mario is getting 50 a video. <laughs> I don't always get, you know, sometimes I have to put the business, uh, needs ahead. The, the Wrath of Zealous Industries business. Uh, but if I see that it has a lot of likes, even more so than the one with like 300 views, then I'm like, okay, well, clearly these people are very passionate about this game, even if it's not quite getting, it's not reaching as many people. The people who it is reaching are very invested. So be sure to like the video when, uh, and to, to help sway me in that regard. And I'll record more. So thank you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.